Guys, welcome to another commentary done by Davey. This is Fighting Spirit Mania once again. So, out there. Upper left hand corner, we got Bonnet starting as the red Protoss. Bottom left hand corner, we have DeWalt. I, we'll see if this one gets uploaded or not. I have no method. I'll, I guess I'll upload this one, let you guys know that I'm not going to upload every game that I'm casting. I'll record them just in case they're good games. But uh, I'm not going to upload, I think, every single one to YouTube. But I am going to try to cast a lot of them on my Twitch channel, because why not? At least until Hasu League is back in action, which in theory the games have been played today, so maybe I'm going to start filtering in some of those games to stay on top of it, and then we'll intersperse those with Fighting Spirit Mania when I'm not able to get things running. Upper left hand corner, uh, actually, so I did do a color swap here because there's no way. Black versus gray, like it's, that's not happening. <clears throat> anyway, if you notice, it is now set two of seven, but I really do not have a method to mark, like, I, I have no idea how to fit, like, an additional marking of information of who won set one on the overlay. So just know that Bonneth won set one. So he only needs to win three more bests of sevens, and he will be the champion. At which point, uh, I'm wondering how long, like, has there been a video game tournament that's, run, I mean, like, seriously tried to run for two and a half, whatever many years? Technically, if Artosis ever finishes Ascension, which is a joke that people should uh, definitely poke at him for, if he ever actually finishes Ascension, that might be the longest running one. But I don't feel like that was like active, right? Bonneth going for the cross map scout this time. See if DeWalt does the same. Maybe he was trying to catch, maybe he noticed through the replays that DeWalt was going for cross map scout and wanted to see if he could catch the probe as it was making its way across. At this point, they are Kind of wondering what the what the scouting logic is on Fighting Spirit. Mid map does seem to be a spot to check just in case of double gate. Makes a cool pattern, or maybe never mind, depending on what angles they take. No, don't take the angle. <laughs> don't do it, Dewalt. No. Um. <clears throat> okay, we got enough of the vision clouded up that it doesn't look like something uncouth. Bonnet <laughs> cycling back to top right. <clears throat> And unfortunately, DeWalt can end up... He's not really gotten lucky at all with the scouting patterns. It looks like it is 10-12. Or I should... Uh, yeah. Or 10-11. I never remember the numbers that this is built on. But it looks like it is going to be three Zealots and the Assimilator once again. And that was... This has been successful for Bonneth, honestly, across the board, nearly against any Protoss player out there. A Zealot actually marching already across the field. Are we seeing it opposite side? So we got one Zealot in construction, second Zealot out as well, and a third Zealot being queued up, interestingly enough, with the late scout, which is great for DeWalt if he can get back to home base, because he's going to have the precise number of Zealots to defend here. Yeah, the three Zealots now marching on the way, and he's going to have that Assimilator and Cybernetic score up a lot earlier to get Dragoons in play. So the Zealots marching initially marching out, but Bonneth now recognizing, okay, maybe this isn't going to be successful, and he's, oh, this is unfortunate for him, he's also not going to get a, a ramp block, so maybe he's just going to leave the Zealots on the ramp to make sure that that probe thing is, I don't even know, like, how many, how can he station those where he's going to guarantee a probe kill, so the probe going to be able to march in, see that it was two gate opener, and that it did not succeed, and on top of that, he's got this interior to the base, and look at this from DeWalt, skipping range going a Citadel of a Dune instead, because he's got the scouting information, because he recognized it was a two-gate opener. And this could now be trouble for Bonnet. He's going double Dragoon because maybe a little bit worried he's going to end up behind the Dragoon count overall. <clears throat> and starting up range. And we already have a Templar Archives constructing in DeWalt's base. Second gateway on the way as well. Dragoon's starting to... Ooh, gonna get it, take it out. No cancellation on the cybernetic score. But one thing about opening this is it does delay, it can delay that robotics facility. Zealot trying to scramble away. It looks like it is going to get picked off. But we'll see if this is a follow-up respectful robotics facility. Okay, we do have a robotics in place. That doesn't necessarily mean <clears throat> that this will be stymied or stopped. Sometimes, depending on the positioning of the observatory, a lot of issues uh, can happen and it can still be a successful DT play. Regardless, what oftentimes will happen with this is with the initial DTs out on the field, it provides enough map control 
that it allows an additional Nexus a little bit more rapidly. And it looks like Bonneth is in fact going to go for that Nexus before Observatory. So keep in mind that's going to slow it down a little bit. And that might have been the maneuver that potentially cost him the game. We'll see. So first Dark Templar going to be marching on the way. I think that's going to be a guaranteed good number of dead probes since this was in fact Nexus first. And let's see if he, uh, on top of it, let's see if he goes, okay, he did go Observatory, not Robo, so it's not a complete lost cause here. But the Dark Templar are already halfway up the map, and that is before the Observatory is even finished. And Bonneth, unfortunately, at a forward position, he might be able to scramble back if he sees it immediately. He did not see it. Oh, that's unfortunate. So now he's trying to chase a Dark Templar that's already making its way into the base. The Observer is being constructed. I don't think he can kill that pylon before anything else, a, a forge getting dropped, but probes already dying. Nice little, nice little interruption, but that's still a lot of dead probes and a Nexus building behind it. And a second ET managed to make it up the ramp. That's unfortunate. So that's probably game. <clears throat> Six additional, yeah, second ET in here. The observer finally there. Nice bit of interruption that canceled the forge, but that's a lot of resources lost. And still a good amount of map control. Bon is still going to try to play it out, I presume. Honestly, this might be one of those ones to just say GG to. Four gates already up for DeWalt. Ranged, just about finished, and that second Nexus just about in place. And it looks like it's going to be a counterattack from Bonneth. He does have that Observer alongside. So we'll see if this is enough for DeWalt. So DeWalt's got four Dragoons, two Zealots. This is going to be against five Dragoons. Five Dragoons, three Zealots, and a closer reinforcement point, And another Dark Templar that can sneak into the rear. Okay, five Dragoons now up on... So larger army for Bonneth. And initial shots, it looks like, for DeWalt as well. So working out, and it looks like the Dragoons... Or the Zelts are getting on top of the Dragoons. Nexus, uh, Nexus a little bit exposed. He's trying to pick off what workers he, he can. Nice bit of micro to go ahead and move those Dragoons back. The Dragoons stepping into the Zealots rather than running away to go ahead and pick off the large reinforcing units. Now he just now he's got way too much. And that Dark Templar, by the way, probably went right back into the main. Did he go back in the main? No. He got went to the main natural expansion. Now he's going to go back start killing additional probes. So now it's two bases worth of economy, five workers down. Nice bit of mic uh, macro there on Bonus part. The Dark Temple are going to go ahead and slip back out into the darkness. But we have a counterattack from DeWalt, smelling blood in the water, moving up with all of his troops. He's got four gates versus just the two and not a saturated natural expansion to really capitalize on both. Plus the Dark Templar in the space. That observer might have seen it all coming. Working on the Nexus. Is Bonneth going to step in? Yeah, now starting to step into it. That Dark Templar works like a much better version of a Zealot in these fights initially. Probe's pulling off the line. And now DeWalt can just, yeah, straight up win by attack moving into all... Well, not precisely attack move. He still needs to focus fire a bit. <clears throat> but he is going to win the fight. There's GG. Well played by DeWalt. Takes the first game in the second set. I need to figure out lingo for this. The second series... In the second series, he's taken the first game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.